Hello, how are you? I'm still using these, by the way, and I am still not sponsored, by the way. I am okay with that. I'm just letting you know. Um, so let's use this. So I think I've shown this before. I took it out of this. Is this a vacant panel? Um, I really like this just because I it's very portable and you can you know you can basically fill up, fill this up with water. You can see I have had it for a number of years because it looks so dirty. Why is everything so dirty? Because I never cleaned it. That's why. <laughs> <sighs> When you are the source of your own suffering, this is what happens. So I thought let's start and do a little bit of this patterning because I think um, if you are on Instagram, I feel like this is an uh, obligation to do this kind of patterning. <laughs> And also, um, I didn't learn this from anyone. I just learned this from Instagram. So basically, uh, you know, you just basically browse people on Instagram and they have a lot of um, videos that show you how to do this. Um, so I just watched one of them one day and this is what my hand think. how it needs to be done so you just do that and then you just press it Ta -da! there is a reason why I'm using this so I think you need to have a little bit of a pointy uh, a pointy brush so the brush I think is also important uh, at this stage uh, Let's remember, I don't really have talent. Everything that I have usually either based on the paint and the paper. So I'm really a very heavy reliant on materials. You know what they say, if you're talented, it doesn't matter what tools you use. You can basically just make whatever you want. Well, I'm not that person. I'm not that talented. So I am heavily reliant on my materials. Um, I am one of those people who's like, oh my God, are you using arches? What is that? Is that a cold press uh, paper? Oh, I am that person. Is that, what brush is that? I also found with a brush for like a synthetic brush is a lot better than a natural hair brush for watercolor for some reason, personally. I think it is definitely a personal thing. So uh, for me, just because I think it's easier to control and also it's easier to kind of make shapes and stuff. So that's my personal um my personal thing well i really like to just give different colors because i think it's fun not to only have like natural colors alongside your alongside your natural green colors don't get me wrong though i really love green greens are so good I'm listening to this guy called Dan Locke, which is, um, he's marketing himself as a millionaire coach. And I'm kind of like having a semi hate and like relationship with the, the way he presented. So I'm like, okay. Like, I should not have too much of a preference. Like, I should not hate the way he speaks because I probably speak like that. Like, I'm Chinese. I probably speak like an accent like that. <laughs> so I'm like, his content is really good, but I can't get past his accent. What am I going to do? I'm having serious issues these days with, like, listening um, people with accent. I'm having... It's a serious problem because I'm trying to listen to a lot of content on um, on YouTube, but the content that I would like to listen to these days are tech contents, which is like, <coughs> excuse me, 
excuse me, which is like technology content, which is predominantly made by Indian um, content creator. And their accent are very thick. And I am not accustomed to uh, deciphering that particular that particular uh, accent so I'm like am I like I'm questioning myself am I am I a racist it's like because the, the, the way because I get extremely frustrated I'm like I just want to hear this content in a normal English like a standard English accent Am I being a hypocrite? I just kept asking myself that, like, struggling between the desire of, you know, wanting to just have an easy kind of time listening without having to decipher through the accent because the content that I want to consume is already difficult enough. So I felt like if I have to add another hurdle to get to the information, it's just way too much for my brain. So I was like... Really? Do I really have to go through this? So I opted out for the best uh, case scenario after that. I just Google it. So at least that way I don't have to listen. I just read. And at least like with reading, you don't have to have any kind of uh, prejudice against the person who is talking on the other side. So this is not my expertise, but I think it's a, it's a fun exercise if you're really into this kind of thing. Shall we put another color in? I just like colors, to be honest. I feel like I'm just using patterns to give an excuse to put color into the shapes that I desire them. So yeah, find a brush that looks like that is a lot easier to do. Especially if, like, it's just easier, especially if you don't have the talent to make this kind of stuff like me. Or don't want to go through the training. Anyway, so hope you enjoy that, guys. This is a bit different than what we usually do, but there you go. Sign it. Don't forget to sign it. Valerie. Have a good one.